Hey hello there welcome back to the channel in this video we are going to solve rotate matrix by 90 degrees problem I have added link to this problem in the description of this video so do check it out and try it on your own if you can't solve it come back to this video so this is a pretty interesting problem where we will be given a 2d matrix of integers and we need to rotate that matrix by 90 degrees this problem is especially hard because you need to do that rotation in place which means you are not allowed to allocate any extra space if you would have been allowed to allocate space this would have been a really easy problem but due to that constraint this becomes a little hard problem so let's look at some of the inputs and outputs for this problem so here is one of the input matrix and its output 90 degrees rotated matrix okay so if you look at it, it's a 2D array with the first row as 1, 2, 3, the second row as 4, 5, 6, the third row as 7, 8, 9. And after rotating this like 90 degrees, you get the first row as 7, 4, 1. So this uh, column, the second row as 8, 5, 2. So this column and the third row as 9, 6, 3. So this column. So here is another example. This matrix is a little bit bigger, but the results are similar. Okay. So this row becomes 90 degrees rotated and becomes this column this row becomes 90 degrees rotated and becomes this column again same happens with the last two rows okay so hope you got some of the idea now let's look at some of the different patterns in this problem which will help us to solve this problem so after looking at this matrix some more time you can probably see this pattern so see the first row becomes the third column in this matrix or the last column in this matrix okay the second row after rotation becomes the second last uh, column of the matrix the third row becomes the first column in the rotated matrix okay similar thing happened with our second example as well where the matrix is little bit bigger the first row becomes the fourth column okay the second row this two four eight ten becomes the second last column or the third column okay the third row this 13 3 6 7 becomes the second column and this fourth and last row becomes the first column so what is the pattern that we should derive from here the pattern should be something like this so the pattern is the first row becomes the last column the second row becomes the second last column so on and so forth we get to the last row which becomes the first column so hope you got this pattern so based on the pattern that we just saw the first sub problem is making the rows of the matrix into columns okay and then reversing the rows of the matrix how it will work i will just show you but do remember these two steps let's just get a walkthrough of how this solution would work so let's just get a walkthrough of how the first part of the solution will work so we need to make the rows of the matrix into columns okay so the first row becomes the first column which is pretty simple right similarly this four five six row becomes the second column okay and this third row becomes the third column right so we have just changed all the rows into the columns right so the first step is done now let's move on to the second step so see after the first step our first row became the first column the second row became the second column the third row became the third column but what we want in the final solution we want first row to become the last column the second row become the second last column and the third row becomes the first column right so for that we need to kind of just reverse the rows and it will work out okay so if we reverse the rows this one five uh, four seven becomes seven four one two five eight become eight five two three six nine becomes nine six three but that means we are kind of reversing the columns so this first column becomes the last column this second columns remains in the middle and this third columns becomes the first column. So reversing the rows actually means we are just changing the positions of the columns. So this is what you need to get out of this solution. Let's look at the C++ solution for this problem. So we need to complete this rotate function which takes a matrix as an input. Okay, a 2D matrix as an input and we need to kind of rotate this matrix by 90 degrees and return it. Do remember that we are given a reference to this matrix. So we can actually change this matrix in place without creating a new matrix. So what is the first step that we have done? So we have determined the size of the matrix. Now in the second step, we have run two for loops. The first for loop goes from i is equal to 0 to n minus 1. For the second for loop goes from 0 to i minus 1 okay and what we are doing here we are just swapping matrix i of j with matrix j of i so what we are doing actually here is converting 
all the rows into the columns so let's just look at how it works so what we are actually doing is something like this i is going over the rows and j is going over the columns so in the first iteration we are just swapping out one with one itself okay because i is zero and j is zero in the second iteration i becomes one and we start swapping out these two things and we go till five we swap five with five in the third iteration i becomes two and we do something like this we swap out seven with three eight with six and nine with itself so your row becomes column now so hope you got the intuition behind the first for loop now let's look at what the second step does in this solution in this second step in this second for loop we are just reversing our rows so if you remember row reverser actually means we are making the first column as the last column the second column as the second last column so on and so forth right so here we are just written a for loop to kind of reverse all the rows so we get the actual desired output and if you see we are not returning the matrix because we are changing the matrix in place in this solution itself so hope you got the solution now let's look at the time and space complexity of this solution so now what is the time and space complexity of this solution so if you look at the solution here is the most time consuming part of this process which is running two for loops okay the i is going till n and j is going till i which internally goes till n right so what could be the time complexity it could be certainly o of n square what's the space complexity are we using any extra space here apart from this constant space no right we are doing all the rotation in place so the space complexity becomes o of one so hope you got idea about the time and space complexity now let's just run this code for that i have created this main function in which i have created this matrix that we need to pass to this rotate function and after that i have written this for loop to print out the rotated matrix so let's look at the output of this problem so let me just run this code now for that i will first compile it So in the output, we got 90 degrees rotated matrix. So hope you understood the problem and its solution. We will be making more such videos in the future. So do subscribe to our channel. So if you have any questions, do ask in the comment section below. Hope to see you in future videos.